So uh uh yeah, but so he said he said Kareem's the GOAT, Mike's not the GOAT. But what the most shocking thing he said is that Mike can't play no defense, man. Listen to what he said. My opinion, you know, Mike wasn't all that good of a defender. Mike who? Jordan. Defensive player of the year. Man, all that, man, all that was. Ten time, I think it was 10 all defensive teams. That Michael man, Jordan? All that, all that's, you know what all that is, though. What is it? You know what all that is. Not all that's NBA shit. Yeah, we like Mike. We're going to put him out there. da 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 I'm talking about being out there. I seen this motherfucker get his ass bust where he couldn't stop a motherfucker. Yes, Mike fouled too, but no, they're not going to call the shit because the rest want to eat his dick all day. Oh, no, I'm not going to call that on Mike. Mm -mm. But down the other end, oh, you fouled Mike. Yeah, Mike. Hey, Mike, my guy, go to the line. Shoot. No, no, I, I seen Mike get his ass when? ate up before. Oh, against J.R. Ryder. Um, yeah, probably against Clyde Drexler shit. Don't forget the early Joe Dumars. You know what I'm saying? It's it was again, it's part of the game. Right. Nobody is perfect. We all got, you know what I'm saying, our nemesis with this game. But no, I I if if you needed a bucket, yeah, and I'm not saying that he didn't play defense. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that to me, his his defense wasn't as high as most other cats at that time or of course they put him on a lot of defensive teams mm -hmm. because he might be playing weak side defense but that's not really doing that you playing the passing lane all that take is a pump fake you gonna bite and i can hit your man back you don't bite though he first team so they say i feel like i mean there's probably something definitely to his popularity helping there but i do think no shit he was fucking defending though i i again like at a high at a high level, though. As I said, I'm not saying he didn't play defense, but I don't I don't know if if that defense was worthy enough. Maybe they were looking at his offense being defense, getting guys in foul trouble, who's guarding him. And some people look at that as playing good defense because now you're out the game while I'm still in here. Oh, but he was getting like three steals in a block a game, too. Like he was he was getting busy for a minute defensively. <laughs> Along with the, what, the what changed his game was offense. What changed the game for them was offense. It wasn't a joint like shit. If if that was the case, look at the look at the matchups he had with Dominique Wilkins. Dominique going right back at his ass. He can't he couldn't stop Dominique with shit. Now I'm not saying Dominique was stopping him. You know? Right. I was gonna say, yeah, that's like they everybody just getting 30. <laughs> yeah. But like, nah, I don't, I don't know, man. All right, man. <laughs> oh my god, bro! I, that, and I is she? I, I man, I rock with she. I do. I do. I rock with she. Come on, bro. Man, that's that's wild. Uh, oh, man. What, what was it? What was it? Nine, nine, nine straight or nine total? All defensive teams. Yeah, now nah, he hit. Nah, I think he got ten. Uh, I think he got nine. Kobe might got twelve. I think. I think MJ got nine. And, and, and not not to mention MJ. Uh, before D Wade passed him, you know Michael Jordan was uh the number one guard for Earth. blocks. Right, there was Max. no other guard that had more blocks than MJ. So he was number one in blocks. And then we know what he did with steals. Uh, mm -hmm. right. So that's so that that's him recording stats defensively, blocks and steals at a high level. Uh, but but we also could visually see that he wasn't no slouch on defense. Did he get his lunch eight every now and then? Yeah, I mean, shoot, I mean, we we seen the Iris and Cross. We seen we seen uh, Marbury give him something when 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 he was past thirty three and them mm -hmm. them knees wasn't kneeing no more. You know what I mean? We seen we seen some little guards get the best of him. Mahmoud our do our move, man. A lot of times, man. But he he jumped out there to play some defense, and then the guys that was his size. Reggie, whatever, whoever else he had to guard, he'll chase him around. He don't now. He didn't. He didn't like, and most of his teammates would admit he didn't like chasing guys like Reggie around. Those mm -hmm. were the guys that gave him trouble. I think Rich Chapman gave him some trouble. Um, uh, you know Definitely. those guys that can run off of them screens and shoot threes. Dale Curry, that gave him some issues. But um, but for the most part, man, I had to agree he's an elite defender. I don't know what the heck Rashid talking about. I don't either. I don't either. And then using the Dominique reference, Dominique was 6'8", almost 6'9", playing small forward. Scotty was mostly his matchup. I mean, right. true indeed, he was giving buckets to anybody. And just like he said, but Mike was giving buckets to to, uh, 
<laughs> Glenn, the consultant, when he played for us. So, <laughs> so, so I, I just don't understand. I, well, I do. Just like you said, Mel, uh, it makes a whole lot of sense when you have a new platform and you are looking to, to create some 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 controversy. It sells. It, it automatically right. is going to get the clicks. It's going to get the views. But just the eye test alone, you already talked about the stats. Just the eye test alone. He was a tenacious defender. Like he would be in your grill, in your back pocket from, from the time that you got the ball. If you didn't have the ball, think about this matchups. Well, you talking about Clyde. Yeah, Clyde got some buckets, but MJ was in his face the whole game. He was always in his face. And don't let it be any matchup with a guard, uh, especially an elite guard. Uh, there is nothing that can be said about MJ's effort on defense. Um, we already know what he was athletically. So it wasn't difficult for him to just give that effort and match with his athleticism. That's why he got those all defensive nods. I think it's just she uh, searching for clicks at this point. I, I, I think that's mostly what it is, man. But, I, you know, I, I think this is a new growing, uh, you know, like like this is this new thing that's going on where people are trying to take Michael Jordan away from the God, you know, from the God uh, status that a lot of people got him at. Like, man, he was just a man. We want people to know that, man. Talk about him like he was a man. At least bring him off the pedestal a little bit, you know, so we can have a conversation with about other guys. I mean, because when y'all got him on this pedestal, y'all making it seem like, man, there was nobody else that was close to him. And, and people just, like, people like Gilbert and Rasheed and, and, and Garnett now and J.J. Reddit, man, they just want they just want people in this era to, to be able to have a chance to be in the debate with them. That's all it is. I'm, I'm not saying that Rasheed was right. But was it really wrong? And, and this is what this is what I'm saying about that, right? Um, I think that he overstated a lot of things to try to hammer the point home. That uh, I think he pretty much what he's saying is Jordan's defense was helped by star calls one going one way and not calls going the other way. Uh, I think that was the long and short of what he was trying to say, and. Uh, because you can't just say that that MJ was a bad defender. No, but uh, and in fact, in fact, he's an elite defender. Uh, but would his defense look the same thing if the if the call if the whistles was on the um same plan for you? No, I I mean of course not. I mean we 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 know we know star calls get you know stars get star calls right. We we know they get the benefit of the doubt. That goes both ways, offensive and defense. Mm -hmm. But but that's uh, that's also even for everyone who else that that was the face of the lead. So if MJ's defense plus his star call got him to where he's at, whoever else was the face of the lead, Magic, Bird, LeBron, Kobe, Shaq, they all got that same star call. For for the same for the same reasons, right? So if if they all on an even playing field with they, them getting uh, uh, favor of the whistle, and MJ still above them, if they wasn't getting the favor of the whistle, MJ would still be above them. Mm. To your point, I I I, I could agree with that. Can't argue that. Yeah, I, I, but I'm I don't like I said. I don't think that she was coming from a bad place. Well, I mean, he was trying not to. He, but he definitely got an agenda. He de he definitely need the he he want the clicks. It's working. We're talking about got, it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like how like how many how many Gil Gilbert Arenas uh, uh clips have we went through? I've been going mm. through Gilbert Arenas clips for a long time. And could right? keep doing it too. Right, because he's always gonna say some stuff that need to be freaking talked about. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Right, Gibbard knows what he's doing, and, and Rashid Wallace is trying to and try trying to follow that blueprint, man. And and what and why why I mean, we doing it too. Uh, we talk about LeBron, we talk about MJ, and people want to hear conversations about those dudes. So here it is, hey, he talking about MJ, and he get to bring a hot take to it. But I don't think it's uh, nothing other than that. It's just been a hot take, man. It's like, come on, man, you can't fake nine defensive uh, players of the year. I mean, not nine defense, but nine defensive teams and a defensive player of the year and, and two steel champions. Like, you can't fake that. You can't fake top you know team. Hard it, facts. You know how hard it is to be a defensive player of the year as a guard? I'm not saying that what Jay is saying ain't, ain't true because calls, superstars get the superstar calls on both ends. But it's so difficult as a guard to be good enough 
to be better than the guy who's getting all of the blocks, to be better than the guy who's getting all of the defensive rebounds, the paint protectors. It's more difficult, in my opinion, as a guard to get those nods, to even get those looks, you know, when it comes to defensive player of the year. All defensive team, okay, whatever. You got to pick some guards in there. But to be the best defender, considered the best defender in the league, you got to be playing some defense, in my yeah. opinion. I, yeah. I, and, and I think uh, me and Melvin was having a conversation yesterday, and I was like, I, I think that's an award they should get away from anyway because uh, what what metrics are you looking at? You know, being a good defender for a big man looks different from being a, a good defender for a guard. Are you a help side defender? Are you an on-the-ball defender? It's, it's too many moving parts. To accurately say that, hey, uh, this one is a better defender than this five, or vice versa, because they're not True. doing, they're not asked to do the same thing at the same clip. That's that, fair. They could, That's fair. they could, they, they could do it if they do it the proper way. Like so, what what they're not doing a good job of as far as awards and and all this stuff with uh with sports in general, but that's just stay on the NBA. Is they're not that they're, they're not connecting the metric they're using. To the ultimate goal of winning, right? Mm-hmm. Or connecting the metric that they're using to not even the ultimate goal, but to something substantial. So if I'm saying I'm a great defender and I lock my man up, that's an empty statement if I don't connect it to something that that's substantial. Like, and this and what I'm doing is 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 helping me achieve a top defensive rating for my team, or is helping me achieve a top yes. win percentage for my team. Mm-hmm. Like it has to, it has to lead to something. So, so like when you say I average 35 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, what are those eight rebounds that you're bringing in uh, uh, leading to for your team? Is your team top five in rebounds overall or are y'all b- below the bottom? Because if you're getting eight rebounds and your team are below the bottom and your win record is not there, I don't even want to hear about your eight rebounds. Well, everything, rebound. everything you meant, everything you mentioned, every metric you mentioned has to be connected to something that anchors it. But it, 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 really, it really should all be connected to winning. If 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 your team is first in rebounding and y'all last in wins, I still don't care. All roads should lead to winning, right? Yeah, but but it's other factors that, that go to you not winning, right? So it, it, if 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 you're if if you're getting ten rebounds a game, and I'm saying, man, that's amazing, and then I look and your team is number one in rebounding, I can connect it to that. That's good. And if y'all and if y'all got a losing record, I want to know why. If y'all got a losing record for something that you're doing and that you're not efficient at, or or you're not uh or you're deficient at, then yeah, I I I wouldn't count that as anything. But if y'all not winning because you're a rookie and y'all just ain't built the team around you yet. Then I'm, yeah. I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. I can, st- I can still, I can still say this is something significant to talk about, but don't come like when, when, when Westbrook was averaging a triple double and we was like, Oh man, he's averaging 10 assists. I'm like, okay, what are the thunder averaging as a team? And it was like 28th. Mm. What's the point of you getting the 10? What's the point of you getting 10 assists? If, I mean, if it ain't leaving. Yeah, if if it ain't if it ain't leading to your team uh uh, uh getting uh, uh good assists, you know what? That, that's just yeah, that's just you. That's just leading to your awards. Mm-hmm. That ain't leading to winning, and it ain't leading to your team uh success at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Real so quick, if, they, if they do that, Jay, they, then then yeah, go ahead, my my bad, Chris. My fault. Real quick, just to to uh bolster Zoe's point, there's only been six guards to win Defensive Player of the Year. One of them mm. won twice. And in how long of, of the awards history, you know what I'm saying? Only six guards. Who won it twice? The the, the four from I mean the guard from uh Milwaukee? Yep, Sidney Moncrief. Sidney yeah, Moncrief. Yeah, that, yeah, Moncrief was a daggone monster boy. Sidney yeah, Moncrief, yeah. Alvin Monkey. Robertson, Michael Cooper. Michael Alvin Jordan. Robertson was a he was a steel monster too, boy. Do you hear, Very you hear Marcus Smart. Listen to, listen to these names though. They they're not in anybody's list of who's who of all time greats. So my like, grief is though my 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 my, grief, my, grief, my grief was the first team that that swept Michael Jordan because mm-hmm. Milwaukee had the number one record in the uh, East uh, the before uh, Boston started beating the Bulls. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee was that squad, but and they met Milwaukee in the first round. So that, that I always tell people when 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 Mike was getting put out in the first round, he was getting put out by the team that was going to the finals or winning the finals. Yeah, they, they were the, they were the best team. The, the 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 Bulls had not reached where they were going to reach yet. That's why they was losing. 
Like, people always equate that, even though MJ was averaging 37 points during that, during that time, but yeah. he was playing against a better team. He was playing against a better team every single time. Sidney Moncrief, the only one to win it twice, and I think uh, the only one of those guys who would be considered, as far as now generation, is probably Gary Payton is a recognizable name to, yeah. you know, a bunch of, of, of casuals. You know, but all of these other guys, Alvin Robinson, I mean, Marcus Smart finally got his. Um, you know, he was he was lobbying for it, though, ever since, you know, yeah, he, he, sure. he was lobbying for it. But that's yeah. that's neither here nor there. But, yeah, uh, Gary Payton is the only noticeable name on there to, to, to a lot of casuals. And, you know, for MJ to be up there and even be considered not only a good defender, but one of the, the but the greatest to whoever played the game, then that that says something to me. And yeah, just sure. just a, a another extra out of all the, this whole list, uh, <laughs> Jordan Jordan Cooper and Robertson were the only ones that played all eighty two games, but yeah. Jordan is the only one that averaged anything over forty minutes a game in his and and, and was carrying the scoring load. Yeah, averaging thirty five that year. DC Slim said, "I will allowed to say MJ had flaws. Yeah, you when yeah. you call in, you can say every flaw he had, and we and we had that conversation. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna play one more thing that uh you know because they you know that Vernon Maxwell did a podcast about three months ago. Uh, I like Vernon Maxwell, man. He'll honestly, Me too. Me too. and they asked him about MJ, man. Uh, and he talked about how he wanted MJ, uh, uh, you know, defensively as well, and you know, but I want you to hear how he gave MJ reverence, though. What the fuck are we doing? Hey." So you got you got to see Mike in his prime. Oh my goodness! How, how was that watching Michael Jordan? <laughs> well, goddamn movie, for real, motherfucking rated X. I love that shit. That's, 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 that shit was crazy, boy. Goddamn, I never seen no motherfucker like that till I played against that motherfucker. Cause he was everything he they said he was, mm. you know. Uh, but look, but that's I think real he was shit. more than what they said he was. Shit. They, Before uh, that, did you you know how sometimes they 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 talk about people? Did you be like they just overrated? Nah, yeah, I've seen a lot of that shit. <laughs> I, I did a lot of that shit, but shit. Yeah, I got out there with that motherfucker. That motherfucker got him true. Yeah, that motherfucker black. No Jesus. questions. Like, Where's the calling black Jesus? Black Jesus. What, was the, what was the first matchup like? It was like everything I thought it would be. Shit. <laughs> My motherfucker was gonna go at me, and then he didn't know I was getting ready to go back at his motherfucking ass. Mm -hmm. You know, cause you know, like one thing a motherfucker to play good offense like that, they don't really play, play good. defense. They, I mean, they can play good defense. They, they say this motherfucker. Know. They said Mike play good defense, but shit, if I get a chance to hit you with two, three combo moves, nigga, I'm gonna get by you too. And that's what I used to do too. Dream, I'm sorry. This motherfucker just went at me. Shit, I'm gonna go at him. I was snatching his motherfucking ass <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, and sure. getting there too. So I was doing them like it was the competitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was goddamn going back and forth. They like, won man, Chicago Stadium. We So he was saying, look, man, hey, if you if you the star and you got you got the world as your ocean and you got the green light and you can do two or three combo moves to get your shot. You'll cook people too. And you know what I'm saying? But the the I guess what he was saying, most of the guys that MJ was cooking couldn't come back at him because they wasn't the star player that was cooking. You know what I'm saying? If you playing the Rockets, it's gonna be Hakeem cooking. Mm -hmm. Maxwell just getting catching and shoots. But he was like, Look, man, he, that dude just went at me. I gotta get him back. So mm -hmm. he was saying he was saying, Hey, look, hey, you know, I went in him defensively as well. Uh they said he played good D, but hey, I got mine off, you know. So I mean, I gotta respect that, but then he at the same time he said, Look, man, MJ was everything and more, like everything they said he was, he was and there. More. And then some and then some. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna open the phone lines up, man, because I know DC, uh I know DC Slim ready to get up in here, man. H Town, yeah, what's up, man? I, I know DC Slim ready to get in here, man. So uh phone lines is open. Come on yeah. in here, man. Get down with the get down. I want to hear what y'all want to say. Is MJ a good defender, elite defender, average defender, or is he below average, man? I want to know. Yeah, the thing he, is, he, he just picking up. The, he got a problem with all these cats. Yeah, DC yeah, Slim, I, real fast. DC Slim, yeah. what's up, man? Hey, man, I've been waiting for this, man. I know you. Hey, let me tell y'all something, man. <laughs> let, let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all sounding like LeBron fans right now. <laughs> okay, look, man. 
I love Mike. Mike is, watch the words I use, is the most entertaining player that I ever saw. I'm about to make this conversation real boring. Okay. Watch this here. All right. Y'all yeah, moving the goalposts, okay? Okay. Rashid made some great points. He is an NBA player, okay? Now, let's be real. Michael Jordan laid at the free throw line. Dog, I watched him play. It's, 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 I, I don't know if y'all watched him. Yes, Lord. He laid at the free throw line. He got all the calls in the world. Like, come hey. on, man, let's, let's be real. We doing this now because he's not playing. He got every – Mike was the NBA darling, okay? So he only has one defensive player of the year. The point Rashid was making – if you're the greatest, you ha- you're supposed to have multiple. Mo- wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, DC, hold on, DC. What's wrong okay. with having one defensive player? Do you have how many people you know got more than one? Okay, see now you're moving to go. You got you got again. Dwight, you got Dwight Howard. You probably got you probably got Bill Russell. You probably got Hakeem, maybe. And Wallace. Giannis, maybe. Well, we don't we don't call we don't call none of them the greatest though, do we? They got one. Yeah, because you don't you don't you don't you don't become the greatest by just playing defense. If that was the case, we'll have Matumbo in the conversation. Now, de- de- defense is ju- uh, just a requirement that you have to do. Everybody has to be able to be a, a good defender at least. At least stop your that's, man. That's we're, saying, we're, saying M- we're saying MJ was a great defender, possibly, and, and even elite, even. I say elite. Well, well, you just named some people who was better than him, who ain't. Man, guess what? The different different positions, is. though. At, at, the, different at, positions, at the, at the but they're, they're not the NBA darling. See, what, what makes it's a reason for that, though, DC. It's a reason why they're not. Did, it's a reason for that. They did, they wasn't they averaging. Have a good team. They wasn't averaging so thirty seven and uh, locking people up. No, you're right. See, I see what you're doing, but you're still moving the goal. I'm not moving the goal. Jordan post. played Jordan's team. Scotty Pippen was a vicious defender. Great I don't defender. Care if you don't like oh, him, I love Scotty Pippen. I love him. I yes, love him. Great defender. Those six championships that Michael Jordan won. Oh. I ain't going to say their team was the greatest, but they played as a team. Everybody had their roles. Now, to see here and act like, you know, I, I still think Mike is one of my favorites. But I will not say he's the greatest player of all time because you have to judge it by errors, okay? So you can't just say you can stick Mike in every error. Because you, you'll be a fool to say that he'll be good in that. Lord so have mercy. Greatness oh, has whoa, to be God. judged. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hold up. Hold, hold, on, on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. When I say that, okay, what we have to understand is, as great as Mike was, we all know Kobe played against better competition. When we use the Michael Jordan argument, we only talk about Detroit. Nobody liked to talk about when Bird and them was crushing them. OK, right. he was Michael Jordan is a great scorer, dog, and I'm not knocking him. This is the reason why I'm comparing y'all to LeBron fans, because even though you like this person, you have to understand that they did have flaws. Watch this. I ended with this. I watched Mike. Dominique used to dog him. OK, <laughs> Curry, Peyton, look, hold up, hold up. Watch this. I don't think y'all remember this. When they played the Sonics in the finals, Gary Payton, he wasn't hard to score on. See, the way y'all making it look like he was a shutdown defender. He wasn't. Wait, what's he the definition average. of a shutdown def- shut defender, though? Like, it, no, it, it's it, never been one in the league. Oh, okay, so but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But all shutdown defenders get scored on. You can't, you can't stop great offense every single time. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's so, 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 so if we're if we're going to say a shutdown defender is the best uh, perimeter defender we've seen, he's not perfect, but it's the best we've seen, and that's where the ceiling is, right? Well, so, see, we, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We grade on the curve. Whatever the best is that we've ever seen, that's how we grade everyone else. So who's the best? Who who's the best perimeter defender we've ever seen? Well, see that that is no. Just answer the question. Just answer the question. No, the okay, DC. DC. No, no, no. DC. DC. Okay, Tony Allen would be top for you, correct? Okay. What, yeah, okay, so he would be A plus. Yeah. Where is MJ at uh, in comparison with uh, Tony Allen? Uh, MJ is a B to Tony Allen on defense. My you said a D. You said so a D. G. Tony is an A boy. He said B as in boy. Listen, that's a B. Okay, so he so, said, so, no, he said B as in bullshit. So, so yeah, A, a is elite and B is and B is great. That's what you're saying. 
What I'm saying to you is, and and I, I just don't think y'all want to come to this realization. As great as Mike was on offense, he was not the best on defense. Okay, and that's fine. If you say he's not the best, great players, but, but no, you don't have to be the best to be elite, though. If you, it, I didn't see the word elite, elite is elite. We playing wordplay. It's multiple so elite defenders. Let's stick with one word. Let's stick with one word, okay? Let's do this. Okay. If we're going to say Mike is the best of all time, do you think Mike is the greatest defender of all time? Simple yes or no? No. Who said he was the exactly. greatest defender of all time? No. Hold on. DC, check it. hold on, hold on, DC, check it, DC. Listen, when we when we say the greatest of all time, it's it's like the the master of all, right? Uh, or uh, the what, what's the what's the saying? Like, it's it's, it's, it's called it's called yeah. not having it's it's called not having many flaws or having very few or zero flaws in your game. But and he and, had de a lot of and de flaws. defense wasn't a flaw for him. Scoring what wasn't else? a flaw for him. That's the entire See, game. Scoring and defending. That's the entire game. What if I say this? I think y'all just basing Mike on his offensive and entertaining dynamic dominant play. Now you hey DC, you've you been listening you've been listening to, to this channel long enough to know that we don't base you what we said about Mike just based on well, offense. Well, look, look, you just you just named people who have two. You know the reason why we don't know about them? Because they wasn't popular. But they I, were I know excellent about them. I know defenders, I know about okay? them. No, well, I mean, no, see, see, hold on, wait a minute. You ain't, you, you ain't being fair. You don't, they're not as popular as Mike. You so understand what I mean no, by that? She no one is. Mike, yeah. Mike, that's what I mean. Separate popularity from play. DC, Mike, do you think you, DC, let me ask you this question seriously. Do you seriously think you're talking to and dealing with a man that can't separate popularity from basketball? You really, no, you, not, you really think, think you really thinking you're talking to that caliber of person? I, listen, I don't think that, but it go back to what I was telling you earlier. Mm -hmm. It is no such thing as anything number one great over everything. Everything is based on errors. So the new Mercedes, the 2024 Mercedes Benz might look better than the 2016 one because of the time that we in, the gameplay, the style of play, the the size of the people. All of that matters. You got to take all of that into consideration when you start judging greatness, okay? This is the reason why I don't put LeBron in there is because of what he's doing in an easy era. I'm not knocking Michael Jordan, but I also remember Michael Jordan got swept twice in his first two years. You don't bring that up in the conversation. Why not? You, see, it, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not damaging. Why it, it, not bring it, it up? It's, it's not damaging. damaging. It's not it's damaging. damaging to, it's damaging when I, talk, when I talk about LeBron. It's not. It's not damaging. What? Well, listen. No. It's a difference. Why is it it's, not damaging to Mike. But, but because, but because to listen to what like you Kobe, listen to what you said. Else. I never said it was damaging to Kobe. Listen to what you said though. You said Mike got swept in his first two years. So you you telling me a rookie showed up the the number three pick, which automatically said that you're going to a trash squad. And it takes what four years to build, right. It, it takes about four years to build around a player. Michael uh, Michael, okay. jo My, uh, Michael Jordan just so happened to make the playoffs his first couple of years with a team that probably wasn't ready to be in the playoffs, right? Oh, I think you just backed yourself in the corner. I didn't back myself in the corner. I didn't. I didn't hold on. I didn't back I'll myself you, in the corner. corner okay, sure, sure. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, DC. Hold on, DC. So you you take a rookie, you take a a, a second year player. The team is uh is building, right? Wow, building. And nice choice of words. Building. Of course, they're building. That's exactly what you do. You get a you, you, get, you get a, you get a superstar. The same thing what Wimbyama is doing in San Antonio. We got a we got a star. Now we got to build around this dude. Let's see what he can do. Everything everything is it takes two or three years to build around a guy. And then when you get a team, uh, 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 uh you get a star player, a co star with role players and a coach, and you got that whole thing together. Then you can go out and start going to war. When 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 do when do you start preparing for war? You you got to go to boot camp, you got to go to training, you got to wow. go and you got to go test test everything out, and then you go to Iraq. You don't you don't just sign up for the army and then say go to Iraq right now. You don't do that. So with so, with with basketball, you get your star player and you train everything, you build everything, you 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 find a nucleus, you find a co star, you find a coach, and you find your identity, and then you go out to battle. Exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. So if in that argument, right, you ready for this? 
Yeah. Kobe would be the greatest. That n- none of none is, DC none of that makes you gr- the greatest. I'm just explaining to you why I'm not. I'm not saying that it's yeah, damaging I'm, I'm, that a rookie got no, swept no, in the not, playoffs. What? what, what, what it, 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 no. no we, yeah, you're trying to talk, look. No, you're trying to you're trying to connect dots to stuff that don't even that's not in on the shame no, sheet. No, I'm not. See, you, no. it's not fair for you to say. It's not fair for you to say. And this why the number reason why I'm calling. DC, listen. When you're talking about why it's not damaging, I'm telling you, it's not damaging because he's a rookie and he don't have his team ready for war. So I'm not I'm not going to tax him on what happened. Now, when you get your team ready for war, and you and you say, "Okay, now we're performing. We got the we got a, a top three record in the league." Then mm-hmm. you're you're te- you, that's an indication that your team is ready to go. You you got what's built around you. It's good to go. All right, now go now go out to battle. If you get swept in that capacity, then yeah, it's, it it could be damaging. But it, it, none of that de- depend. None of that makes you to go or make you not to go. None of it. I'll just tell you like this, because once again. This is an argument that'll never be settled because it's based on opinions. Okay, my True. opinion is I think I will never see a great player. If I really wanted to say one, I would say Bill Russell, one in college, high school, and NBA. So if you're gonna start using the metrics and whatever, all of these words and you know, like building and you know, all of this stuff when it comes to Mike, you Boy, gotta I use that to every player. I okay? do. So when I say I do so in other words, the same argument that you're making, okay? Right. You can make that for Kobe being Bryant being of course you than can. Mike. No, you so can't that, no, that's not an argument for being greater. That's an argument why I'm not taxing him. For getting swell. For getting swell. I'm not texting Kobe either <laughs> for right air right 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 I'm not texting Kobe for air Mike. Why do, why do you think I'm taxing Mike? I'm not taxing him. I'm yeah, telling you that right now, so we ain't got to say that no more. I'm not taking <laughs> anything away from him. You brought, up, you brought up the fact that nobody says that he, he, he gets swept in his first two years. You brought that up, right? Yeah, I brought that up because if we're going to start comparing players, when we mm-hmm. talk, and I'm going to use a person who I don't like, when we talk about LeBron, okay, as much as I don't like him, I talk about his flaws more than his good stuff. So first thing I say is he got swept. I start mentioning stuff. That's not you a know, flaw. That's a result. That's not a flaw. Oh, his is not a flaw. No, okay, it's not. A, no, it's not so, a flaw so, to get swept, DC. It's not. That's no, not. A, that's no, not a flaw. A, not, you I'm can't. You can't that. go in the gym that. and work on not getting swept. What what you can actually do on the basketball court yeah. is what is a, a strength or a flaw, not what the result is. I missed I'm a shot. I missed result, a shot, though. so that's a flaw. No, that's not a flaw. I'm I just missed a shot. Opinions based on NBA. NBA is based on opinions today. So a person is not allowed to say, and that's this is what this is really based on. You, I'm not allowed to say. I just and she ain't. I just don't think Mike the greatest. And she played against these dudes. Y'all calling him a hater? He's Who calls? Lucky. He's, Hold on, hold on, listen. He's telling you as a person who has played against somebody like this, as great as you want to say he is, he can be scored on. And what am I mean, what? There isn't a player that can't be scored on, but you just made that up. Nobody on this panel call call she the hater. No, Everybody just, just no, your exact <laughs> words were she got a new podcast. So you think she's saying it's gonna be a new podcast? She ain't never been this type of dude. You know what I'm saying? He's not that type of dude where you can attach that to. I would say some people, yeah, but not she. She keeping it a thousand and you just don't want to accept it. See, hey, I love Mike. I'm That's telling you, me. Mike and Kobe is one and two for me. But I'm not gonna sit here and make it look like Mike is the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> nobody, nobody, DC, nobody, DC, nobody, nobody said that. Nobody said Mike was the greatest defender ever. We just said Mike was an elite defender. That's, That's all we said. Defender. Okay. 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 Right. Right. Sure, but don't use don't use the word goat when you say that though. What? Because there's no right. such thing as a goat. Hey, hey, hold on, 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 hold he said there's no hey. such thing as GOAT, but he also said two breaths ago that he got Mike and Kobe one and two. And Kobe that one means and two. <laughs> I said, listen to what I said. Listen, that's what I said. Y'all must not be listening. I said, Mike is the most entertaining and popular. 
And you know he is. If Mike ain't had the shoes, we wouldn't have this argument, okay? The reason why I say Kobe is the best player I've ever seen because he can do more. He, he plays the game at a wider range than Mike did. He has a better range on his shot. You can you tell me y'all keep talking about Mike defensive. Kobe got more than him. So if we yes, let's be fair, he does. All right, let's be fair to this. The only, there's only two reasons why people put Mike up: two three peaks and a defensive player of the year. No, that's, that, no, that's, that's 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 not why. And that's and and and, 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 if, and if you want to comp- if, if you want to compare uh, Mike and Kobe as defenders, I I think Kobe was a better on defender uh, on ball defender than Mike. It, it's, 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 thing, it's thing. It's thing. It's it's a lot of players that are better defenders uh, on the perimeter, perimeter than Mike. Mike's not the best defender we ever seen. Okay, that's good. I'm glad he's he's that. the so best. He's the best player I ever seen because who 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 else you know other than Kobe that was uh that that was number one uh uh score in the league, a number one score in uh in in the era, and also somewhere in the top five as a defender on the perimeter. Tracy McGrady. Sure, and and, and and T and T Mac, sure T Mac too. Yeah, T-Mac too. That's, see, three, that's three guys. That's three guys. Has, hold on, hold on. But DC, changed, hold on, DC. That's three guys out of three six. Seven, three, I can't name the rest off the top of, of my head. Of course you, know you know what can. Saying? Of course you can't off the top you of your head because you don't because you don't remember them, DC. But look, I'm a I'm a clear I'm a clear I'm a I'm a clear the lines because I. Hey, love you too, DC man. C- call back on the next topic, man. I, I want to get Joshua in here. He he want to know how to call in, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him and him clear the lines. All right, be dope. Peace out, fellas. Y'all be easy. All right, thanks. All right, hey, man. Hey, yes, sir. Um, so what y'all miss is the, uh, DC said, in his opinion, there has been no great players. That that's what he that's what he said while he was talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so. He has a, 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 a no one's going to check all the boxes for him because there's been no great players. Mm. So that's why, and, and that's how I can say there's no GOAT. It, they can't be a greatest of all time if nobody's great. Yeah, yeah he's smoking that Zaza Wade. All right, yeah. call on the line from Florida. What's up, yeah, What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you a little bit. Sound like you're on the walkie talk. Where you at? You in the military? Oh, no, nah. <laughs> it's my Bluetooth. Let me try to put it. Let's get that work better. Can y'all hear me better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of comment on that. Um, that caller DC just a bit, like his comment. I think the flaw in how people look at Michael Jordan, um, as an overall player and and in the goat conversation is weird because people like to pick apart certain pieces of Michael Jordan's career or his talent and then chomp all over that. But at the end of the day, the reason he is considered the GOAT is because of what he does in totality. Of so course. Offensively and defensively, if he was phenomenal and an elite defender while also expending all that energy on that side, and he was arguably, if not, not even arguably, the greatest scorer outside of Wilt and outside of uh, Kareem, you know, and a couple of other guys, the greatest score, they're spouting that much energy on both sides of the ball. And then we look at the rest of his career. Like he said, he threw out, um, I'm not, I'm not going to take up too much time. He threw out um, two, three pieces as if magic just happened all on its own. That's, that's not how it works. You can't just say, people like Mike, because he threw out, because he had two, three beats. And it, that happened because of his talent and what he did. Right. You can't just say that. see what he did that. Like, it's just some, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, so you put together the offense, the defense, the elite levels of both, and then you look at, you stand back and look at his career and say, damn, no yeah. one's ever done it like the way he did it on both sides of the ball. We got guys who got awards. We got guys who got stats. We got guys who were dominant. There's only one guy who did all of those things in his career, and that's Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I agree with you 100. percent That's a good call. One one last thing before you go. So are you are you disagreeing with Rashid and saying that uh, uh, Mike was a lockdown defender? Uh, I disagree. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
Mike had a time where he was an elite lockdown defender. And then there was a time where his athleticism started to wane a bit. So he mm-hmm. started to create other facets of his game to put together parts of his offense and his defense that would be more beneficial towards winning, right? right. So why would he continue to be Mr. On, on ball lockdown defender if his athleticism is waning when he can be a sneaky black cat? Correct. Look at the last one of, this has got to be the greatest play in NBA history was the last play he did in the Chicago Bulls. It was a steal which shows defense, and it was offense. He, the last damn play he did as a Chicago Bull was showing y'all on both, on both sides of the motherfucking ball how he is the GOAT. Hey, look, and you cooking, but not just that last play. But remember, they there was that there was that was, was hard to score. It was a game six. Everyone was tired. Nobody had legs. MJ had been uh, yeah. missing shots That's left and right. Out. Yeah. Oh, and, 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 and then and then he came in and got a key layup that I, I, don't, I don't know how they let him get to the hole. Finally got a layup. Might have got an end one if I remember correctly. Then got that steal. Then hit that game winner, and that just showed you almost everything. That showed you uh, him on defense, how smart he was, how patient he was, how determined he was, how uh, uh, ready for the moment he was, how clutch he was, his offensive prowess, all of that good stuff. That showed you all of it. Right. I'm gonna say this off of what you just said too. Everybody just needs to take a step back and look at that play, man. For, like for you sure. can't tell me that every college, every high school, and every professional player doesn't look at that plan. Damn. He saw an opening and took that shit. He snatched their heart. Yeah. That's in, like nobody does that to this day. There's, there isn't, there are people like there are people taking people's hearts and there are people doing certain things. But like Mike was always trying to get a win. That's yeah. why I'm not going to veer this off into a Durant territory, but I think that if Mike and Durant were in the same era, he would figure Durant out. That's how much I look at Michael Jordan's defensive mind. And I'm just like, this dude is going to find a way to take that ball and get that ball from you. Whether it's on the ball, off the ball, whatever the hell you want to say. He's going to find that hole and that that moment where you're not looking. He's going to snatch your damn money. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man, I appreciate appreciate that call. That's a good call, man. I'm going to like you. What's your name again? What's your name? Hey, my name is Leon, man. Um, oh, Leon, my fault. My uh, at on YouTube is at the New Geeks. So I've been, I, I actually, I think I said something to you today earlier. I was yeah. like, yo, man, when do you do the calls, man? I, I want to get on, man. But yeah. Yeah, that, hey, I appreciate, appreciate that. Amazing. I'm about to say, I'm about to save you in my phone, uh, uh, Leon, man. Uh, that was a good call, man. I'm locking you in. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate you, gentlemen. All right, big dog. You, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. And, and not, don't forget, man. Pippen back locked up on him in that game. If they would have lost that game and went game seven, he would have had no Scotty Pippen. So he had no Scotty Pippen the whole fourth quarter. Scotty Pippen was a decoy. Yes, he was a decoy. So it, he was out there playing and, four and on five. He put the ball, he put the ball out. Uh, he inbound the ball on on the next to the last play. Yeah, for sure. All right, no what? Hey, this is gonna be the next to the last caller. Uh, Joshua keep trying to call in, but he keep he keep being late, man. No what? What's up, big dog? What's going on, man? I'm What's good. going on, fellas? Yeah. What's going on? What's your, yeah, man. So what's your thought? What's your I thought? Heard, I heard the, no, I heard the same thing that Rasheed said. For me, it's like, to me, it's, it's a nitpicking thing. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So, to me, it's like a nitpicking. I'll give you a perfect example, right? Take uh, Diggs, from, Diggs from, uh, from, the, from the Cowboys, the cornerback. Right. Is he considered a lockdown corner? Mm. He's not considered a lockdown corner, but here it is. He led in, in NFL in picks. Correct. Before he got hurt. Correct. And no quarterback is going to throw against him. What I mean by that is it's, it's, it's different ways of playing defense. Just because Jordan wasn't a quote unquote lockdown defender, that doesn't mean he wasn't an elite defender. How can you not, how can you not be an elite defender when you get 200 blocks and and a hundred a uh, hundred a hundred blocks and two hundred steals in, in one season, and no one else has ever done that other than Scottie Pippen. And Jordan did it twice. Mm. Mm. Like that doesn't mean that you're. You, you get what I'm trying to say? Of course. Great. I think he was. I think with the choice of words, he was being nitpicky, because here it is. Tony Allen can be considered a lockdown defender, but here it is. He's never led the league in steals. 
or he doesn't. You you get what I'm trying to say? Of course, yeah. So it's it's I, I think it was just a, a, a nitpicky choice of words. Anybody who thinks that Jordan wasn't a good defender, man, is turnovers. What 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 does all his steals lead to? What layups lead to points the other way? Yeah. Come on, bro. The game is about scoring and winning, bro. I ain't I, I ain't worried about you shutting this one dude down. If you can pick his pocket and take it the other way and give me two points. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you beating up, you beating down the floor trying to shut lock somebody down. Like what did you just do? You ain't did nothing. But here it is. Jordan gonna pick your pocket and take it the other way and get a dunk. Hey, look, no one one would say, and one of those guys that would say that is on his panel. One would say Wojo was a lockdown defender. I'd rather have Damn Mike. Damn sure <laughs> was. Damn sure was. Hey, we not doing this. I'd rather have Jordan. Jordan going to pay, hey. Jordan hey, gonna pay the Jordan, Listen, man. Jordan going to pay the pa- passing lanes. Jordan going to play the passing lanes. Jordan coming up from behind you and picking your pocket if, you, if, you, uh, if you're a big man down low. He going he gonna to try to block you from behind. I mean, he doing pause. all different kinds of ways. Of course. Of no, course. No, of course. No, no one is confusing that's, that's, Michael that's Jordan with Steve Wojciechowski. No one's no one's saying that, but for for what Wojo was, he, he would do you up and lock you up, man, and, and taking care of him, man. Wojo, lock down defender. Kyle hey, Smith. Okay. Check, check, check this out, though. I want to say something about what your what your boy was saying about Durant, dude. I sat I sat about a month ago and watched a clip where Russell Westbrook brought, blocked Durant shot like four times. Yeah, Westbrook probably done block Durant shot more than anybody in the NBA. So don't act like Durant shot is just so unblockable, man. Come on, dude. Let's, let's, I don't see Westbrook himself do it more than once. But when it comes back to Jordan and the defense, man, think about it now. He playing the passing lane. Mm-hmm. If you're a big man, you cannot bring the ball down below your waist because he'll come from the backside and he'll strip you. Yeah. And he coming with the help defense and blocking you and blocking the shot. And everything is taking the ball the other way. Everything is taking it the other way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, I can, I can, I can play lockdown defense. And just cause my defender to pass the ball, but that, that ain't equal in two points the other way. You get what I'm saying? So which one is which one is better? Okay, I, I lock my man down so so bad he ain't have a shot. He passed the ball to his teammate. Yeah, or, it, it all it all works at the end of the day, man. Uh, but I, you see what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, I'm I'm with you 100, percent man. But hey, look, we got to move. We got we got to get this last call in. Uh, I uh, hope this Josh. For, for, is Josh. It's gotta be Josh, man. Nah, Josh. Josh. I'll, he he late again. That was somebody from North Carolina. But hey, I'm, I'm gonna get you off uh, nowhere real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get Appreciate this last phone call, man, so we can move to the next Good topic. Show. All right, bro. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hey, Josh. We gotta be quick, week dog. Gotta be quick, Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Call Josh. Call Josh. Call Josh. Call Josh. Come on. We we try to get you on here, man. We try to get you on here. Hold on. Who this? Who this? Who this? Who this? Nope, it ain't even Joshua. Come on, man. Josh, call. Josh, <laughs> call. Josh. Right now. All right. Hey, last call on this topic. <laughs> last call on this topic. Caller from North Carolina. Who's this? Hey, what's going on? My name Rod. Lord have mercy. That's Josh again. Hold on, man. I'm, I'm going to get Josh in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that boy got terrible timing. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, I got... I got Josh and uh, Rod on the uh, line. Hold on, let me see if I can. My phone moving slow right right now for some reason. All right, I got um, I got Josh and no uh, Rod on here. Rod, you go first, and Josh, you next. Bet. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, my opinion on the situation is that that uh, I think what she is saying that 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 Jordan wasn't necessarily a lockdown defender or wasn't a, you know, an all-time great defender is because, you know, when you look at the era that Jordan played in, where were the comparable players to Jordan? Like, when you talk about Kobe, there was comparable players like like T-Mac, like Vince Carter, you know, comparable players to his, to his skills to art. Even some people consider those guys to be more talented, you know, in terms of skill overall Players, you, 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 know you, 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 you do know MJ played against them dudes, right? You, you know, you know, MJ, MJ played, MJ. You, you know, D, uh, MJ played against T Mac, he played against Kobe, he, he played against Ray Allen, he played against Big yeah, Dog Glenn Robinson. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He played against Glenn Rice, he played against Steve Smith, Brian Shaw, Penny Hardaway, he played against uh, Thunder Dan Marley, he played against Cedric Sabalis, he played against Anthony Mason, he played against uh. Allen Houston, Grant Hill. He played. He played against Gary Payton, Jason Kidd. 
Then he came back as a 39 year old and played against Sean Marion and all them dudes as, and, and, and still was cooking and blocking their shots and D'ing them up and all that stuff. Then we all admit that Kobe Bryant is a carbon copy of Michael Jordan. So we seen Kobe Bryant do what he did against all this talent. Why, why, what, why not the better version of Kobe Bryant be able to do it as well? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like Kobe did was never shutting down none of those players. He was just he, he won against them, but he wasn't never really shutting them down. Like Vince and, and T Mac, the boys was cooking Kobe. You know what I'm saying? But he 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 won. He was winning against them. And that's the point I was making. Like like Michael never really had, you know, a comparable like me. Yeah, I agree with you that he played against T Mac and some of those guys, but and Dominique they really comparable and Clyde. Players. Dominique and Clyde, comparable players. Gerald, Gerald Wilkins, comparable. Ryan Harper, comparable. Gerald Wilkins is a comparable player to Michael Jordan. Come on. Athletic, yeah, for, of course. Athletically, yeah. Like, so it, was Ryan Harper. So was Ryan Harper. Like, it wasn't no great players in the Jordan era. There were just none greater than him. Like, Charles Barkley was great. Bars. He was great. Like it, it was great players that people always use the talent discrepancy. And I do understand the guys are bigger, faster, stronger. A lot of them are, but we have to stop acting like Jordan played in the era of nothing but plumbers. Like Barkley didn't play who <laughs> Reggie Miller didn't play in the Jordan era. He wasn't great. Like it, it's great players in that era. Just because Jordan was greater than them does not dem- Sean Kemp. I see somebody say Sean Kemp in that era. Like yeah. great players, great players. So even though you can say there were players comparable to Kobe, these were the players that were comparable to Mike. They just were on the same level. They weren't on the same level, and it was guys that was as athletic as Mike with the same type of body type and size. They just weren't good enough to be starters. They was on the bench. Facts. Not my fault. We, we've never seen a guy this athletic and this skilled and this determined. So we got guys that can match his athleticism that wasn't skilled enough to be a starter. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What you said. That's true. What you said. I think that, um, I just think that, that when I say comparable though, I mean like they probably, at least at, at that time, people considered T-Mac to be on the same level as so. People consider Vince Carter to be on the same level as Kobe. Sure. You know, and people consider Dwayne Wade to be on the same level as Kobe. Right. Like he he had a lot more competition he was playing against. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I I I, I hear what you're saying. I just don't think I just don't think it, it's a it, I don't think it's a point to be made there. I mean, it, even if we even if we agree that nobody was on Michael Jordan's level to to match him, mm-hmm. and they it were on, away from his greatness. It, it, it really don't, and like like I said, the, it, it, to see Kobe do what he did against all this competition that you said he had just shows me how much Mike would have been able to do against them because Mike was definitely better than Kobe and definitely more athletic than Kobe. I just don't understand. You you you, you, you seeing you seeing what Mike would have done in this era by seeing Kobe do it. So there's right, right. there's no there's no real point to be made there, but and I'm a, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let Josh get in here, man. I appreciate the call, big dog. Rod, right, I'm gonna save you in here. I got you. All right, most. All right, big dog. All right, Joshua, man. Last call. What's up? He got in here. Uh, he got in here. Let me in. <laughs> hey, man. We were trying to get you in here because I seen you in the comments. I said we got to get Josh, and I seen you in uniform on the, on your picture. I said I got I got to get I got to get my dude in here, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so uh, for the topic. I disagree with what Sheed is saying. Um, it's it's literally clips on YouTube of whole games that you can go watch, and you can watch Mike literally shutting guys down. But I think this new generation is kind of dumb, where they think that means that Mike never got scored on. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, nah, it's a clip on, um, I think it's from the 96 season. They playing the Pistons at home, and Grant is cooking Pippen. And Mike got on Grant the last five minutes, uh, Grant Hill couldn't score. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Mike can lock you down when he when, when he absolutely needs to. But I will say that the second three feet, Mike, he wasn't as athletic, so mm-hmm. he may have waned a little bit. Especially playing against the shifty or smaller guard, they did give Mike trouble. But to say that he wasn't an elite defender, I think that's just bull. And yeah. then there's also a clip y'all was talking about with his Mike. It's a clip on you. So let me ask you guys this: So we agree. That Vince Carter was in his prime in like let's say from 2000 to 2004. Did we say that prime Vince Carter? Well, when fair. he was with the Nets, was he with the Nets? 
no, but he was with the Raptors. Oh yeah, definitely with the Raptors, of course. Raptors, Raptors, yeah. That whole career, with that whole time was his prime. Yeah, it's a clip on YouTube. It's like twenty two minutes long, and they playing the Wizards are playing the Raptors in Toronto. And Mike and, and Vince, they they kind of building up like any two UNC guys. They're both ball hitting. They both can jump. They're kind of playing in like a passing of the torture game, right? Yeah. So Vince got twenty one in the first half. They asked Vince, you know, Mike told you how you feel. He's like, man, I, I don't even care for real. Anybody can get it. Mike started this the whole second half, and Vince did not score the ball. Mm. And this is thirty nine year old Michael Jordan. So the, the clip is on YouTube. So to sit up here and say Mike wasn't an elite defender, I'm telling you, I think guys are just saying things for clicks and views because they're trying to poke little holes in Mike's legacy, and you got to do all these missing gymnastics to prove your point. When you can mm. just go look at the clip, they're right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I agree with so you 100. percent annoying, man. Yeah, so that, that's all I wanted to say, man. I know y'all got to go. I'll call in on the next show, man. I appreciate y'all having me. All right, appreciate thanks, Joshua. Man, I got you locked in. All right, big dog. Sure. All right. All right, we can finally move to the next topic. We got the last one in, but this super chat is for uh, Jay and Chris, man, because because I've been hogging up all the dag on airtime. Uh, <laughs> would you guys say that? <laughs> would you guys say that Jordan swatting the ball out of Carl Malone's hand is uh, the greatest clutch defensive play or the best steal in NBA history? And Roland Curry's appreciate the uh, super chat, big dog. One hundred percent. Roland always is showing love. Shout out to Roland. Go ahead, Chris. Um, man, and this this already. T- this already tastes bad, man. But uh I was saying gonna say that, exactly what I was gonna say. No. The <laughs> the to, <laughs> me, to me, the greatest clutch defensive play might just be Brian Penn and Iggy Dollar. Block. Iggy's, yeah. Iggy's block. <laughs> that that might just be the, yeah. the greatest. I'm not mad at I me mean, because if, if if he doesn't get that block, the Warriors win that. That series, no question. Yeah, I would say that's number I, one. I do think that I do. I do think that still may be the greatest still, uh, because it led to a championship. It led to the the push off. Was it a push off? I, the still is elite, but I think the greatest defensive play, uh, would probably be that chase down block. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that that, 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 one, agree, yeah. that one. But but you know, it's it's two chase down blocks that was big. They weren't in the finals, so I'm putting that one number one. But it's two more that I seen. The Ooh. one Tayshawn Prince did on Reggie Miller. Oh, in the playoffs. Wait, and that was the a great one, that was the conference really, final, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and the one Hakeem did on Rock Strictly in in the uh, in the playoff as well. That's a good that one too. Big. That, that was, was a good. Yeah, so that was my top three. Duh, I forgot yeah. about that Tayshawn one, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling another super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, MJ easily the greatest two way player of all time. The greatest two way player of all time. I would say MJ. Hakeem, um, um, uh, Kawhi. Uh, are we ready to hold on? Are we ready Pippen. to throw Kawhi up there? They, they say it's Kawhi? a girl in the letter, the best two way player all are, time. Are we, so. I mean, <laughs> who are you talking about? Uh, uh, Brittany, did she just get out of prison? They know you want to go wait for the next topic, you just go bulldoze in, man. It, it, it must be nice <laughs> to be a day one, yeah. Because if, 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 if this was a new. Yeah, if you wasn't day oh, one, I would have moved on. What's up? Nah, 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 nah. I just wanted to say, greatest defensive player I've ever seen with the Wayne Wade blocked my man's shot, took it down half court, busted beat him, running from the three for the game. That, that was in the regular game. season, man. I don't care. This my house. Was, hey, listen, I don't care if it was pre This my house. <laughs> this my house. <laughs> <laughs> so you might, you, you might, you, you, you might as well say the block that JaVale McGee caught. Blocks and steals. Dwayne Wade got the most still, uh, most blocks as a shooting guard ever, and he was two yes. inches shorter than uh, Kobe. Three Not shooting guard is 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 guard period. Guard period. Guard period. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, you know, yeah. so you know, I'm, I'm gonna get ahead and show my boy my flowers. But you know, I'm in the chat. I love y'all, man. I appreciate love y'all. Love you too, me. gang. All right, big dog. Uh, Do you know? Right. Hey, Chad. Thanks for the sub, man. You gonna love it here, big dog. You gonna love it. All right, man. We ready to move to the next topic. Oh, we got, I don't we know, Josh. Okay. Shout out to Josh, man. My way man, to, Josh. Way to stay. Way to stay with it, man. 
<laughs> hey, I had to get him in here. Y'all, did, y'all, did y'all see the uniform? You, you yeah, know yeah. I peeped it and I was like, every other comment, he was like, man, I, I got voicemail, I got blocked, I got. Da, da, da. I was like, we yeah. gotta get. It. We gotta hey, Josh, you, you, you know, you know, everybody on this panel is prior, prior Navy, right? Almost Facts. everybody. No, all, all of Jay, us. All of us. Oh, yo. Uh, okay. Jay. Jay, Jay, trying to Jay, deny. Stop. He, he trying to deny. <laughs> I guess it was a, a, a different life. But uh, <laughs> thanks for the five dollars super chat. MJ hit the layup, the steal, then the jumper on. in their order. Kyrie hit the jumper. Brian got the block. MJ wins this one. Uh, yeah, when you put, take it all in totality, but we just spot the just defensive play play itself. Yeah, just the yeah, you gotta you gotta think about how much ground LeBron covered and how he was able to adjust. Because I think Iggy kind of wrapped it and came back, and LeBron was able to adjust to pin that and, off the glass like that. And no cap. And no cap, Jordan got all the uh, Carmelo hand too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I literally just watched it hey, yesterday. No hey, but, but, hey, but no, but no cap, but no cap. With LeBron, he he didn't know which way Iguodala was going, so he blocked both sides of the backboard. So anytime you shake the backboard, anytime you hit the yeah. rim or the backboard, yes, you, that's gold. That's that's <laughs> <laughs> if we being honest, if we being honest, everybody, everybody asked you for that. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, we're all investing here. Man, this is the longest we ever stayed on one topic. What are we doing, man? 